All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all staying strong in these crazy times that we're in. I hope that you're more solid and that you got some peace and some quietness and calmness around you. And I pray that your relationship with God gets much better. Now, today, I want to discuss about, you know, keep being more creative, keep working hard, keep working smarter, and stop being lazy. I feel like in these crazy times that we're in, it's getting people more out of their comfort zone. And this is, this system and society is pulling the rug up under you, right? It's pulling that, that rug up under you and really you, really getting you on your toes and on your feet more than ever. As you can see, like the work is more um, fierce and it's more demanding, but the, la- the, the, the fruits of our labors, the rewards is kind of less, right? So we're, we're put in this position where we have to keep working harder, keep working smarter. It's like people are very restless. You know, people can't really just have the luxury of relaxing and chilling anymore because everything's so intense and crucial. You have so much bills. You have so much obligations. You got so much payments. You got so much things owed. You have just so much on your plate that you don't have the luxury to lighten up and really relax or enjoy yourself or have fun or go out of town or go on a trip or vacation or whatever because you have to stay right where you're at and just work super hard just to survive or just to keep things going, right? Keep the lights on, keep the water going, and keep the bills up or what have you, right? And I just want to encourage y'all to just, like, keep keep staying diligent, okay? Because, like, we have to truly overwork ourselves just to get by nowadays, you know? With the cost of everything going up due to inflation and the wars or whatnot, these high gas prices, that's putting the more... Uh, force on people to go up harder with their work. It's more. It's making more people more restless and more uh, diligent about handling things and keeping their gas up and keeping the bills up and the whole nine. So, you know, the last thing we need right now is laziness. Okay, we have to have survival skills. We have to have um, more hard work. We have to be more diligent. We got to stay on top of everything and be more disciplined. And we have to learn how to also prepare for the worst as well. And how to have backup plans and also how to um, navigate through this crazy world that we're living in. So I just want to read a few, some few scriptures based around not being lazy and just go from there. All right. The book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 12. So that you will not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. The book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 4. Poor is he who works with a negligent hand, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. The book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 26. Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the lazy one to those who send him. The book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 13. The sluggard says, there is a lion outside. They will be killed in the streets. The book of Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, but the soul of the diligent is made fat. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 11. Not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 4. The sluggard does not plow after the autumn, so he begs during the harvest and has nothing. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the ant, O sluggard. Observe her ways and be wise. The book of Second Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 10. For even when we were with you, we used to give you this order. If anyone is not willing to work, then he is not to eat either. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 9 through 11. How long will you lie down, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Your poverty will come in like a vagabond and your need like an armed man. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 9. He who... He also who is slack in his work is a brother to him who destroys. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. Making the most of your time because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. The book of Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 3. So I sent messages to them saying, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and come down to you? The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9. For you recall, brethren, our labor and hardship, how working night and day so as not to be a burden to any of you. We are proclaimed to you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. The book of Proverbs, chapter six, verse six through eight. 
Go to the ant, O sluggard, observe her ways and be wise, which having no chief, officer, or ruler, prepares her food in the summer and gathers her provision in the harvest. The book of Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10 through 12. For even when we were with you, we used to give you this order. If anyone's not willing to work, then he's not to eat either. For we hear that some among you are leading an undisciplined life, doing no work at all, but acting like busybodies. Now such persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to work in quiet fashion and eat their own bread. Whew. The book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 26 through 30. But his master answered and said to him, You wicked, lazy slave, you knew that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have put money in my bank and on my arrival. I would have received my money back with interest. Therefore, take away the talent from him and give it to the one who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has, more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who does not have, even what he does have shall be taken away. Throw out the worthless slave into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, the book of Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, but the soul of the, digit, the, 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 soul of the diligent is made fat. The book of Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15. Laziness casts into a deep sleep, and the idle man will suffer hunger. The book of Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the slack hand will be put to forced labor. You see, let's see. The book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 13. Do not love sleep or you will become poor. Open your eyes and you will be satisfied with food. Hmm. The book of Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11 through 12. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence as to realize the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you will not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. The book of Romans chapter 12, verse 10 through 11. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor, not lagging behind a diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. The book of Proverbs chapter 23, verse 20 through 21. Do not be heavy drinkers of wine or with gluttonous eaters of meat. For the heavy drinker and the glutton will come to poverty and drowsiness will clothe, will clothe on the rags. Will clothe one in rags. Let's see. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. Through, idle, from, through indolence, the rafters sag, and through slackness, the house leaks. The book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 4. Poor is he who works with a neg negligent hand, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. So as you can see throughout the Bible, especially some of the uh, Old and New Testament, but especially Proverbs, you, you see how it's, it's preached and stressed about working hard and staying on top of stuff and, you know, and being more disciplined, being more uniform, being consistent, you know, not slacking, not being lazy, um, you know, because a lot of people have that entitlement spirit. A lot of people have that spirit where people think people owe them something or they're entitled to something, um, you know, and everything in life you have to earn and work hard for. Nothing is given out here. And this crazy, messed up, cruel world we live in show you more and more how better we have to smart. We have to work smarter and work harder, too. But in other cases, there's many people that are working smart, working hard, and still losing stuff. That's just how chaotic these times are. See, these times we're in are not normal. All right. These times we're in are not traditional and not normal, where even hardworking people are suffering. So even though I did read these scriptures or whatnot, it's just still to keep working towards God. Work hard for God. Work hard for the Lord. Work in the spirit. Spiritually work for the most high, for the kingdom of heaven. Work hard to spread the gospel. Work hard to spread the word of God. Work hard to lead people to the kingdom of heaven. Work hard to, you know, make people repent and get baptized. God put us on here to work for him as well. All right. Carnally, physically, we're still in this little captivity, this little matrix, this little uh, system, which is collapsing. So um, we have to really work hard. Like if you have children, you got to feed your babies, you know. All these things are getting taken away from everybody. All their benefits, all these things, are, the, the rug is getting swept up from under them. So we have to stay disciplined. We got to stay diligent. We got to stay on top of everything, all right? We need to be more creative when it comes to our survival and how we're surviving on a daily basis, all right? So I just wanted to you know, stress that to y'all and you know, keep working hard, man, you know? Keep working hard for the most high, you know? 
Stay stay active, all right? I pray to God that whoever is listening to this, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life over for the Lord. I pray that you stay strong in the crazy times that we're in. I pray that your relationship with God gets better. I pray that you keep working hard for the Lord. And I pray that you also keep working hard for yourself and others around you. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.